TV screaming at live. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening! Let me hear you! Three five-minute rounds in the Big John's at Berserker MMA Featherweight Division. Made his way down to the steel, fighting out of the red corner. Standing 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing at 145 pounds. With an amateur record of zero wins and one defeat. Training out of extreme couture. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He is Justin Yokoyama! matchup right here. Adrian Velaka representing Canada. And we have Kaiyusuke Yokoyama from Japan representing Extreme Couture. All right, our main event. One of the studs from the Extreme Couture camp. Both men look look gamey tonight, ready to, ready to sling some leather. Yeah, absolutely. These two guys are ready to fight. Velaka, the hometown favorite from just across the river. You get some shots early. These Sioux Ontario guys, they do not like to lose close to their hometown. And basically, when you're from Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, or Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, it's both your hometown. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. And, and they will they will fight till the death here. Yeah, one thing I really like about this town up here, whenever we come up here for the Big John's MMA and Berserker shows, people really do get along amazing up here. You know, all the fun stuff is just that, fun. I, I love the Canadians from across the river, man. If Without them, Absolutely. we wouldn't be putting on shows. We wouldn't have the show right now. I'll tell you what, they've always been some of my favorite guys to watch fight since we've been coming here years ago. We were running around these back rooms together, weren't we, Rob? Oh, yeah. It was great times back when I used to fight. And, and bringing that up, my first fight was almost David Newport, our last fighter that won. Yeah, isn't that something? Yeah, that I may have not gotten an 11-second knockout on that fight. <laughs> right. Could have went opponent. the other way. <laughs> Kyosuke taking some abuse and... Velaka taking his back. Working that, working for that choke, but it's going to be tough to get one on this guy. Working on that jaw there, trying to, trying to keep his back there, but Okuyama doing a great job turning here. Velaka working for the rear naked here. He's got the hooks in. Getting wrist control from the bottom, too. Look at that. Adrian's size advantage is definitely is definitely going to be helping him with the with his jujitsu ground game tonight against yeah, Yokoyama. He's really controlling him here, even though he's putting up a great fight. The lock is too long for him here. And, and Yokoyama definitely showing a lot of skill with these these jujitsu evasions. Looked like he was hitting his glove there. It sounded loud. Oh yeah, he definitely got him in the temple a couple of hard shots. Another one here. Right in the cheekbone that time. Thank you. 
You know, one thing I've noticed about some of these gyms that people are, we're flying people in from is you can't just reach and grab a rear naked choke if you got their back. It's not working. No, they, they train this day in and day out. This is routine right now for Yokoyama. Isolating an arm, but still keeping that body triangle. Now he's shaking the body lock. And Yokoyama looks to be trying hey, to get out of trouble Adrian here. Adrian was going, going for the triangle right there. Beautiful escape from Yokoyama, but he's back. It looks like he's back in it now. Yeah, almost. And he's doing a great job stacking him up and escaping. That's that's what you need to do to evade a triangle. You need to stack your opponent up. Now, now we got Yokoyama's in an arm bar. Adrian has an arm bar locked in, but Yokoyama's still fighting around. He, he's just escaped. He Yokoyama just escaped a rear naked choke, a triangle, an arm bar. And, and if he's not careful here, he's about to mount block. He's definitely got some skill. I mean, he's wow. definitely a he's definitely a, a slippery opponent. Yeah, both these guys it's, it's just throwing great a tremendous movement. amount of skill on the ground too. And it looks like Kyosuke doesn't doesn't you know waste too much energy with his with his positioning and escapes. He just it's just smooth and fluent for him. Amazingly composed in there, and that's that's why they call them professionals, huh? Exactly. That's why these guys are in the main event tonight. Absolutely. Now, Velaka is starting to impose his will a little bit more. He's got the knee on the belly there, but that's not enough either. No, Kyo Kyosuke is doing a great job. He's really holding on here. And, and I, I, I picture this fight staying, staying on the ground the whole fight. Velaka trying almost everything in his repertoire here. And now he's taken. Oops, taken Yosuke he's is taken now side has taken now. side control. First, dom first dominant position of the fight, I'd say. He's got he's got both the arms under control here. Kyosuke ha has a uh, lock in a in a in a, in a no, crucifix. He has him in a crucifixion, but he let it go. When you Throwing some heavy lather now. Some nice ground upon nice by Kyosuke right now. Some head shots. Velaka Handling himself pretty well, trying to grab a hold. Ten seconds remaining. Both fighters very composed still at this point. Both of them look still fresh. Relax, baby, relax, relax. And time, that's the end of an excellent first round. We saw a lot of great technical work. I'd have to give the nod to Velaka for being in dominant position and attempting all those submissions, but I am impressed with Kyosuke. How about you, Rob? Well, I'm, I'm very impressed with both men right now. Especially Kyosuke being a shorter fighter. When you when you got somebody trying to lock you up in a in a rear naked, especially the rear naked, that's where your height comes to an advantage. When you when you're long limbed like that, with jujitsu, that, that that really helps you. It gives you the advantage. Yeah, he's able to, to almost just stretch him out there, but but Kyosuke is just so slippery and technique is so solid. Exactly. And, and the look on his face is what really gets me. He's just he, he, he doesn't get it's just like he's just, you know, getting ready to eat at the buffet or yeah, watch exactly. a TV. Like watching a TV show. You know, yeah. I'm cool. Absolutely, you ain't kidding there. Oh. And here we go, getting ready to begin the second round of this three round main event. Professional fighters, Adrian Velaka and Kyosuke Yokoyama from Extreme Couture. <clears throat> oh, we and, had a and, nice and for, being, and for being grapplers, both men have great stand up. Kyosuke's showing a little more emotion now. He's ready to he's ready to throw some punches here. Both fighters seem very well rounded. That, that's what I look for in, in, in an MMA fighter that nowadays is to be well rounded. They, they really are too. I mean, you can almost not even guess where their bases come from at this point in time. Whereas you know some of the earlier fights, you know, amateur fighters, you can usually tell one guy's a wrestler, one's a striker. But when you get to this level, even at the beginning stages of this level, you just don't know. You got to be ready for everything. The, the only reason I know Velaka is uh, has a wrestling base is because he used to train with the Frias, 
And I think he still does when he's in town, but now he's, you know, being that he's God, moved from the suit of Toronto. Those guys fuse wrestling and jiu-jitsu so well. I mean, really, it's almost, it's almost both. It's, it's fluid, yeah, very fluid. And, and you can tell that Kayusuke is, uh, you know, very well-versed in jiu-jitsu, and that was probably his first oh, style. Certainly. He's got some decent punches, though. He's been connecting here and staying... You know, that he's, was some he's changing good, levels and getting out of the way. A, a, a really good uh, combination attempt by Velaka, but, but great ev evasion by yeah. Kyosuke. Nice knee to the belly by Velaka there, too, just a moment ago. And then a little leg kick from Kyosuke. And return by the Vengeance. They're almost showing each other what they got and re responding in kind. I mean, this is a really well-matched fight. Nice right hand. Here we go, single leg attempt by Kaosuke. And, and, he, and he gets it, oh, he kind of fell this. into it. And, he, and he's, he's got his feet Every up on the now. fence right now. I don't know what he's going for. It kind of reminds me of uh, like Bloodsport or the Quest with the different styles, you know, that. Yeah, it really does. Oh no. Almost had a guillotine there, but Kaosuke pulled right out of it. Now look at these guys moving. I mean, it's what, almost. Wasn't it the Quest where, where, the, where the Oriental guy he had the different uh, animal styles? That's what that's what Kyosuke is reminding me of right now. He's really coming in with with a lot of, and he's ready for anything and ready to counter it, ready to to, to counter grapple, to counter punch. I'd have to say he's come out in this second round, and, and I'd have to say he's leading this round right now. Oh yeah, it's, it's an amazing fight. Although although Velaka did get some pretty solid power punches in, and, and I might have to say that it's pretty even because of that. Velaka is not a judge. Vlaka had him, you know, folded in half pretty much into the, into the cage, but once again, Kyosuke evades and escapes. It almost looked like Vlaka was trying to do a calf slicer for a moment there, didn't it? Yeah. And Yokoyama back to his knees. Oh, now, now he's on his back again. So, wrestling side mount from Vlaka right now. But Yokoyama has, has half guard. That, that could be his escape it right really there. Does. I think if I'm Yokoyama, I, I go for the uh, butterfly guard and flip him. Do like a sweep from the butterfly guard, I think. He... Or so just get quick. back to your knees, either way. either way. Either <laughs> way. I mean, I didn't expect that. That's amazing. Velak is really making it, Kyosuke it, pay whenever his face is open. Both men appear to be in great shape. They, they don't look like they're breathing heavy or too tired yet. I mean, well, two technicians right here going at it. Two well-trained athletes. Adrian has the back of Kaosuke once again. He's got one hook. He's got double hooks in now, but he's having a hard time grabbing that neck. Kaosuke has a never say die attitude. That is he that is apparent. Does. Quite outmatched with strength and uh, length here, but it, just fighting his way through everything. And, and even those solid softening shots from Velaka doesn't even phase Kyosuke. He just keeps rolling into it. I mean, he doesn't he doesn't wince. He doesn't he doesn't give at all. And he doesn't appear to be a, a bit tired whatsoever. And these guys are both very new in their pro careers, so you would ex you know you, you got to give it to them for being well prepared for this. Exactly. Yeah, you, you really have to respect both men. Ten seconds remaining in the second round. Another one that really just kind of showed Velaka dominating with the power and the strength. Buy a drink later. And time. That's the end of round number two. Somebody make some noise. Very technical couple of rounds there, huh? Eh? And let's go to Jesse and Amanda outside the steel, two of our cage cuties. And directly following the action, you can meet them. UFC superstar Ricardo Lamas and the rest of our cast of characters at the Rabbit's Lounge here inside Kuwait City. And uh, 
All right, seconds are out. Your referee, David Shepard, has your main event competitors ready for the third and final round. And we need to reiterate that these are five minute rounds. Oh, absolutely. I mean, these guys just have gone 10 minutes, which is longer than anybody previously the rest of the night, even the two decisions. Because those were only nine minutes. And here we go, round number three. Let's see what happens. Both guys take the center of the cage. Actually, Kyosuke really took it himself. Valaka standing toe to toe with each other, looking for an opening. You can really see the respect that these two have gained for each other throughout these past 10 minutes and now moving into the next five. I think we're going to see Kyosuke being around in MMA for a long time. I, I think he's going to, I, I picture if he gets into the uh, Bellator or UFC rankings, I think he's going to make the cut down to 135. Yeah, I think you'll, you'll definitely see him as a Bantamweight. Maybe even 125 I can you know, see him cutting you know, too. Honestly, as a flyweight, he could go because he can obviously hang. And he's stinging. He's stinging Velaka. He's fighting a taller guy who's very solid. And to, to me, it doesn't even look like Kyosuke even cut for this fight, really. I, I think he could easily get to 135, 125. Oh, yeah, both of these and, and be a force to be reckoned with. Are, 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 are doing a great yeah. job. And, and for Vlaka, getting to 45 is pretty solid for someone. Well, Vlaka oh, oh, has really grown. I mean, he's, he's a young, talented fighter. and He sure is. I mean, you can, you can tell that he, he's really made that cut. Now, where is Grant's MMA located? I see he's got that listed and not the Frias where he's training. Has he moved late recently? Yeah, yeah. Adrian just has moved from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario to Toronto, Ontario. Okay. Now, I think it's been just recent, not that long ago. Both these guys hanging in there and doing a pretty good job. I mean, I wonder, I wonder if, if Valaka knows or thinks he's ahead or if he even is, to be honest with you. I, I, think, I think they're both, you know, stalemated on the ground. I think they've ditch that effort I think they're trying to see who's the stronger stand-up now they're both testing each other and nobody seems to be really feeling a sense of urgency at all either both men composed N neither men are neither men are breaking either usually when a man's more a man's more well versed either stand-up or ground game you know when, when you try to break him and where he's weak but these yep. guys are both well versed in both And I don't see either of them breaking in will at all. No, Not they're, one they're bit. both ready to continue. Th these guys are representing their countries to the fullest right they now. They really are. My hat's off to both of them for sure. Getting and they're there, putting on a great show for this American crowd right here. They sure are. In Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. Get it, guys! Wow, look at that heavy right hand Kyosuke has. He's, he's, he, he's got, got some great blocks, too. He, he's seen that leg coming from a mile away. That's another disadvantage when you're long like that. I mean, another man short. You have a lot of time to dodge them. You can see them legs coming. Yeah, he really does. As well as them shots. You know, when, when Vlaka, you know, changes level to shoot in, uh, he being so tall and Chaos goes so short, he has so much time to stuff that or sprawl for that. And, and, he, and he definitely can get out of his range quickly, too. Nice low punch. You know, Velaka's been scoring pretty well, too. I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to say this is a tough one to score, but you kind of got to give him the edge because he has landed more power shots, and he controlled the action on the ground for the most part. Yeah, and think? I'll take that back. I mean, I, I, you know, I shouldn't have said that, you know, Kaske is so short. I didn't mean it like that. Uh, oh, no, he's fighting Vel a taller opponent. Velaka's a very tall man. I mean, he's got to be, what, 6'1", six, 6'2"? Six six yeah, and, and at 145, he's six foot tall even with... Uh, Kyosuke is fighting a 5'8 guy. Yeah, Kyosuke is 5'8, and that, that's, a, that's a good average height for a 45. 160 is very tall for a 45, which oh, Block yeah, really is. is. Another nice left hand there. And, and Kyosuke is dealing with that height, height difference very well. He's scoring. He's scoring strong. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm giving this round to Kyosuke right now. <laughs> This is a great matchup. This is an awesome fight. I, I could watch two more rounds of this easily. I think being the main event, we should have made it a five-rounder. We're going to have to adopt that for the next show. Yeah, especially if it's for a title. This one here we could see going, going three. But, but you know, I, I see your point there. You know, the UFC has done that. They've, they've, they've gone to five rounds for main events.
I think for these men's sake, you know, I, I don't know if they'd want a fifth, five rounds or if they'd be happy with the end of the three rounds. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I mean, especially uh, right now, I bet you they'd say they'd go. I, I think you're going to have to ask them, you know, right would you now, rather five rounds or were you happy it was over at three? Definitely wait till last. I'm very fight. curious. <laughs> and that's time. We got a full match. That was Good a luck. beautiful fight. I've been waiting all day for this. We're going to yeah. have for the official after party. Beer UFC 30. superstar Ricardo the Bully Llamas in the house with Bull Terrier Rescue as well. And all the rest of our staff and competitors. All right, we go to judge's scorecard for decision. After going the full 15 minutes, we have a unanimous decision with all three judges scoring the bout for your winner, Adrian Vengeance Marca! All right, here is your main event winner, Adrian Vengeance Falaka. You fought a guy from one of the premier gyms in the world. Both had a pretty close record. And you know, when you see a fight like that, a lot of times it's easy to tell when someone's strong suit. You know, if a guy likes to punch or if a guy likes to fight on the ground. In that particular fight, both of you guys were solid everywhere. And I want to give you my congratulations for such an amazing performance in that contest. Thanks everyone for coming out. Thanks to Big John for having me down here. Some tough boys in Northern Ontario. Um, yeah, that's it. Just thanks for coming out and supporting. It means a lot. And I'm always happy to come back. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't get much more simple than that, but I want to give it up to your winner one more time. Adrian Vengeance Lotta!